At Strident, we love change. And there's a great need for energy storage from construction to emergency services to recreation. And so you might as well start thinking about everything as an energy storage device. And so we decided, you know, it'd probably be a good idea if we built a couple of Jeep Gladiators. One Jeep would have a generator in it. The other Jeep would have a battery pack in it. And it can run a job site for an entire day. Look at that. But we, we don't, we are not a company that builds Jeeps. We really take it to the next level in terms of questioning the status quo. And so Moab is really just the start with these Jeeps. Moab is the trial run. We invited some customers to have some good times with us because all of us go to all these corporate events. We go golfing, we go to dinners, you know, and we wanted something that was a little bit more intimate and activity, something that really had more involvement. So we put a deadline out there of May 12th and said we'll be in Moab with three custom Jeeps. Looking back on it, we should have started a year earlier, but uh, we, we proved to ourselves that we could get it done, and we did. We went west. There's a lot of tuning that goes into the suspension and the components on these Jeeps. We gotta twist them up and flex them. and get some hours under our belt. Make sure we're dialed in. We're running custom 10-inch high pinion differentials. 43-inch Mickey Thompsons. Uh, winches and lockers and all the stuff you hear of off-road and stuff. So it really has no excuse not to be able to tackle just about anything we throw its way. A lot of metal in the bottom of my cup. So this is step one, build the cheap gladiators. And Moab was picked because of the difficulty of varying terrain. More of just a, let's showcase our engineering talent, make sure that these things aren't going to have some mechanical failure. And so if we need to head down to Florida after a hurricane and power up something like a pharmacy or something, that won't be a problem with these Jeeps. You can put another nut on the bottom of it, I guess. And hold well, it. we're gonna figure out if we put these things together right and how capable they are because there were only so many parts that we could order the way that we wanted. So then we had to start welding, fabricating, machining parts. So we took 10 inches out of the bed. Brought the rear bumper up 10 inches. Good enough, just don't haul anything with it. That'll serve perfectly for the power pack we want to put in there, uh, plus some other equipment. I think we're down. It's all about taking that concept that visualization of the end product and moving to a more mass production idea. Is it looking better? It ended up being right down to the wire, getting them done literally a day before. And as soon as we got on the trail, we had creaks and moans and suspicious sounds coming from the Jeeps. And in general, the way it works when we launch products, there's always something that we don't know when it finally hits the field. So these Jeeps are a good example for our new engineers out there that help get things tightened up and welded and then folks start to show up. Moab is a whole different level. I mean, it's a lot like our other projects in that we get started and then see if it works and if it does, great. If it doesn't, we gotta modify it and come up with something else. I think we put over 400 trail miles on the Jeeps on at least 15 different trails. You pretty much have to finish them or you gotta turn around and call it quits and so they went out there looking brand new like they were going to a show. They came back looking like they had been through a rodeo. So they perform just amazingly on the trails. So this guy is gonna be 38 inches. With these Jeeps being just about done, we're gonna take on harder projects. We wanna challenge ourselves every day because this is a way to take our engineers out of their comfort zone and then apply that to what we do every single day. But also these Jeeps are showcasing the Strite and Energy name and support folks out there with us. You know, at the grocery store or at the county fair or wherever, these Jeeps are ambassadors out there. And so 
being an active member in the communities where we live and work is really important for us. Most of our plants are in pretty small communities. And so, you know, having these Jeeps run down the Christmas parade is a sense of pride for the people in the plant. But also we want to use them to support the Apex SEMA show. So one of these Jeeps will be in our Apex booth. The power pack will power some things that we have in the booth and other devices. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And then after that, really the sky's the limit with these Jeeps. So the other Jeep can come by with its generator, plug in here. We are going to continue to be a thought leader with whatever our, our world needs. There's gonna be a point in time where probably every house in America has some sort of battery system in it that is feeding in and out of the grid in order to use all these renewables. And so whatever form the power pack ends up being in, we'll be right there supplying them.